Good God morning. Good God morning. Good God morning. How is everyone? Life is good and all is well. Life is good and all is well. Oh, Father. We wake up in gratitude. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every morning. We hope to. We great wake up in gratitude. Grateful for that first breath. Thank you, God. Grateful for the coming day. To be aware of all things good. Huh. Today is a very is a special day. Because on this day, 10 years ago, my granddaughter was born. So, happy birthday, Akila! Happy birthday to you. She's going to have a fabulous day today. And as she does every day. Why? <laughs> because she has faith that all things are good. Yes, yes. So life is good, and I know I'm doing some things that probably I just shouldn't. But we do. Hey, Howard, how are you? Hey, Arlene, how are you? Thank you for stopping in. I woke up this morning with a smile on my face again. Yes, I have a bad hair day, so I am... Uh, advertising and celebrating University of Maryland Eastern Shore where I came, where I graduated my bachelor's degree some almost 50 years ago. God, time flies, huh? My daughter, my granddaughter's 10 today. Mm. I remember waiting for her to arrive in the hospital. You know, I have to say again, God is amazing. Because in my dreams, while my daughter was pregnant with her, I kept seeing this beautiful face. I know it was my granddaughter waiting to be to come here. You know, God gives you and shows you all kinds of things if you have faith. And that's pretty much what it's all about. Faith that everything is all right. Faith that he has you no matter what. And this morning when I was doing my um, devotion, the devotion was on faith. You remember that man when Jesus was walking down um, to, uh, I think it was Gallant, that Gallant. Uh, he was on one of his speaking engagements. <laughs> That's what they would have called it had he been here. <laughs> at this physical place right now. One of his speaking engagement and a man called down from a tree and said, oh no, a man approached him and said, heal me, heal me. And Jesus said, uh, what can I do for you? And I'm, I'm, I'm actually not reading from the verse itself. I'm not really one of those people that can tell you where the story is or how it's said exactly from the Bible. And Jesus said, he said, I want to see. And Jesus said, by your faith, you can see. Yes, I want to see, Lord. And the man walked away, seeing, proclaiming what Jesus had done. Mm. Sometimes I just shake my head at the glory and the miracles that show through. Are you ready for a miracle? Are you ready for a miracle? Hey, George, how are you? Thanks for joining. A Course in Miracles today, the thought, um, I have the little card, right? It says, it is impossible to overestimate your brother's value. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's just 
impossible to see or overplay how valuable friends are, people are in your life. Sometimes it doesn't come until later. Good morning, Elsie. Sometimes you don't know the value of the people you have in your life until way down the line. Or maybe until after they've left this planet. You then learn to appreciate. But everyone comes in your life for a reason. To enlighten you. To uh, teach you something. Or for them to teach you. I should say and. Because it's always an exchange. So that's what the Course in Miracles said. And I'll read Esther and uh, Abraham Hicks later. But I want to read Acts three sixteen, And his name through faith in his name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Hi, ye, the faith which is by him hath given him his perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Again, we talk about faith. Faith makes you stronger. Faith gives him a perfect sense of being. Faith. All things are good. Faith. Every situation has its solution. It does. It works out. <laughs> it's crazy. It does work out. So yesterday I had to go to the doctors. And we had the wrong address. <laughs> so then I called them. And by that time, it was an hour. I was an hour late. So we went to another, the address that they gave us, and we couldn't find parking. So I we had to park, and I had to walk to the place. By this time, it was 3 o'clock. We had left Clinton at 12. I called the lady. Hey, Patricia, how are you? And uh, I said, we're lost, and we got lost in... Um, <laughs> can I still come? She says, sure, Miss Hodge, you can come. Faith. Sometimes, faith is one of those things that you have to step before you see the step. Faith is the action that you do, just knowing that it will be. Faith is jumping off that cliff And knowing that you're going to fly. That story about the eagles who actually push their young out of the nest on this top high, high mountain. And just before they hit the ground, they soar up and fly. They get their wings. Faith. Faith gives you wings to do amazing things. And sometimes that one amazing thing is just getting up out of bed. Just that small. Faith. So let's breathe. Say, Father. Good God. Morning, Father. We ask for an undying faith. We ask for the strength to move forward, to see the joy, to see the miracle in life. We ask that we bless everyone that we pass and that you bless us. Remember that part in the Bible that says the prayer of Jabez. Bless us indeed, O oh Lord. Enlarge my territory. Keep your hand upon me. Keep evil from me, that I shall always do good. Mm, bless me indeed, O oh Lord. Enlarge my territory. 
Keep your hand upon us. Keep evil from us that we shall always do good. I pray that this is your prayer for today. And that God will give you an opportunity opportunity to bless someone today. No matter how small it may be, no matter how huge it may be, you just say yes. For we are here to bless each other. And as we bless each other, we bless ourselves. Ashe. Amen. And so it is. Yes, yes. I, you know, I always... Hey, Eric. I, 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 I'm... One of my... One of my... Um, desires is to be one of these huge, strong... Um, my battery is about to die. You know, prayers, these people who can pray till the heart says, yes, pray until tears roll down your face. Pray that, that, and it touches everyone. I desire that, that kind of strength. But it is what it is. And I hope that my prayer touched your heart, that that um, we can go forth. So, today in A Course in Miracles is the review of Lesson 97 and 98. It's to be done in the morning and the evening. And what should you say? Very short, very sweet. Someone perhaps can type it in the chat. I am spirit. <laughs> yes. I am spirit. I am the son of God. Nobody can contain my spirit. Nor impose on me a, imita a limitation God created not. What does that mean? I know that I'm a spiritual being. I know that God created me. I am aware of that. And not a person can at all. Contain my spirit. Not Nobody can hold you back. Nor can they put a limit on what God has created. Ooh, yes. I just love Eric. So he prayed, praise the Lord when I see you. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Someone should read. Oh, Eric, you are amazing. I love that. Thank you, Father. Thank you. So note that we say, I am spirit. And in saying that, <clears throat> nobody can hold you back. Spirit flies. Spirit has no limitation. Spirit is made by God. Creator, source, universe. We are spiritual being, beings having a human experience. And none of those experiences can stop your spirit. Break you. No. Mm -mm. And the second one is, I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. And breathe. I will accept my part. In God's plan for salvation. Do what you do. It is part of God's plan. What can my function be but to accept the word of God. Who has created me for what I am and will ever forever be. And that doesn't mean that you won't grow. But you were already created. Hey, Terry, how are you? You were already created with everything you need to do what God planned for you to do. You just have to deep dig, become aware, and do as God says do. And let me say, change that do to be. Being. This is not about doing. 
There are some actions that you take in life, of course. But the reality of it is, have faith. God will show you the way. God will make it easy and peasy and pleasant and joyous. If that's what you say in your head. If that's what you believe in your head. Remember, A Course in Miracle is about changing your identity to a positive entity. In all matters. The first thing that comes into your head is not, I am tired, I am, I am broke, I am. No. The first thing is that I am spirit. I am God's creation. I am the son of God. I have no, I have unlimited supply and source. No matter what the physical means or shows up as. I was I was in my wallet, and I very rarely carry cash at all, really, unless I have to give something or I, something has to be paid in cash. Anyway, I thought I didn't have any this morning. I looked in my wallet, and I had a $5 bill. Not that I needed it, but that's just an example. I used to be one of those people where if the, the cash wasn't there, I'd get all angst and anxiety. I don't anymore. I have faith that everything that I need will be given, is there. Why? Because I am the Son of God. I am the Spirit of God. I am abundant in all aspects. I am Spirit. I have faith. I have knowledge. I know these things to be true. I don't think them. I know them. They are what they are. And I have to learn in certain experiences. And that's all right. It's all right to learn to fail at something for a minute. Then you just get, pick yourself back up and you do it again. Do it again. So on the hour you are to say, I am spirit. And on the half hour you are to say, I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. If anyone can chat, type that in the chat, I love it. I am spirit. I am spirit. I will accept my plan in my part, excuse me. I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. And what is salvation? Salvation is everything. Everything. Yes. Okay, so I agree. I am grateful that you showed up. If you have anything that you'd like to ask, please ask it. You can ask it in the comments. I will... Um, share this out. Share this out. Good news. Share this out. I have the link in, in the I Am Rosa J page in the comments. Like it. Look at it. It's a lot of information. I have um, in the discussion a link for my book, I Am Affirmations for the Living. Which kind of, which really started me on this process. And I am grateful. And of course, my YouTube channel, Rosa J. Hodge. So I said that before I leave, I was going to read what Esther and um, Abraham had to say had for us today. It says, I look for more reasons to appreciate. Dude, I look for things to appreciate, too. It's like to have gratitude. How many people have a gratitude journal? The more I appreciate, the better I feel. The better I feel, the more I am allowing who I am to flow through me. The more I allow who I am to flow through me, the better I Like a circle, right? 
I appreciate who I am. Give thanks. I start feeling better. Oh, Eric, thank you. Eric says, remember this. If everyone took a DNA test, we'd find God is there. He says that God is your father. He is. And we have to realize that. So you appreciate yourself. You feel better. You feel better by allowing the you to flow. And then from that, when you allow the you to flow... (laughs) God to flow you feel better again a continuous circle I am Rosa J and I am grateful that you are here share this out someone needs to be someone desires a different paradigm a course in miracles is a road to a different paradigm And that does not mean that you have to stop doing what you're doing. Just add it to your repertoire. Have a good God day. Claim it. Be it. And know, hey, cuz, you're at the end. You have to go back and watch it again. It's good to have you. Oh, Aaron, everybody's coming on now. And I am on my way out the door. I've been here for about, ooh, 30 minutes. These things are getting longer. I don't want them to get as long as an hour. It's good to see you, Randolph. Aaron Randolph. I actually taught him. He's a welder. It's good to have you, sweetie. Okay, so. I'll see you tomorrow at 6.30. Go back and listen. Share this out on your page. It's about faith. About standing who you in who you are, knowing that I am spirit. Yes, I am uh, the creator. I am the son of God. I am unlimited, unlimited in everything, and I will accept my part in God's plan. For my salvation. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. And I am grateful. For you showing up. Sharing this. And being here. Every day. If you can. Every day that you can. Yes. Yes. Or going back and listening on a replay. Be blessed. Have a good God. Namaste.